Hey, what's up, speaker files? Willington here, and welcome to another video. Today, like a lot of you have been asking, I do have the Tribit Stormbox Pro. Now, I haven't heard it yet, like you can see, it's still in the box. So in this video, you're going to be getting my first reactions to the design and whatever features they have on their speaker. But we're also going to be getting a good sound sample of this speaker. And I also have the Bose Revolve Plus right here that we are going to be comparing it to. They look like the same size. You know, the design is kind of comparable, I would say. So it only makes sense to compare them. I might also compare it to the Charge 5. We'll see how I feel about that. Uh, anyways. Yes, that's what we go, we're going to be doing in this video, if that's what you're here for. Well, let's get in. Yeah, I'm back to the bone. I ain't sure what you've been told. Yeah, I'm mad. You a clone. Sussy boy don't even have a sound of his own. I'm a dad. Okay, so on the box here, the main things they are advertising are IP67 waterproof, Bluetooth 5.0, stereo or party mode, which means you can connect two speakers to either play in stereo or you know you know in mono like party mode uh super superior sound i guess uh long battery life and qualcomm aptx which is pretty cool not so many speakers always support um the aptx okay so on top is your user menu and probably warranty in there and you get a USB A to USB C cord in here and there is nothing else left man I think I was pretty right look it's basically the same size Wow. I like that most speakers are all going um, into the trend of fabrics. It's pretty cool. I only wonder like, cause you know, everything trends at a certain point. So this is the trend right now, Bluetooth speakers and fabric design. I wonder what will happen after that. Like, are we gonna go back to metal grills and all of that? Who knows, probably. But anyway, so on top here, your power button, extra bass button, your Bluetooth, and then your uh, control buttons right here. And in the back, you get a USB-A out for probably charging your devices or anything like that. Then you also get a USB-C port right here for recharging the speaker. And that's about it. I'm surprised that Tribit did not include a 3.5 millimeter jack. Like there is no wired input on this. Kind of surprising for Tribit to be going that route too. Revolve Plus uh, has it. So I'm surprised they didn't do that. They are usually, they give you a lot, you know, more stuff, but I don't understand that. I don't understand why speakers are ditching 3.5 millimeter input. I don't know. I don't understand that yet. Uh, maybe it's because phones are losing them, so there's no point. I, I don't know. I do not know. But anyways, I'm not. This is not a rant. Um, Design-wise, I feel like there's nothing like super spatial about it. Basically, about the same thing, about the same weight either. They were about the same. So I'm curious to see how they sound. I need to see. I'm not sure about the size, uh, the driver size. Okay, so as far as specs, we are running Bluetooth 5.0, a total power output of 40 watts, a frequency response rating that goes as low as 60 hertz, which is lower than the JBL Charge 5. I don't remember what uh, rating the Revolve Plus has because I haven't used the speaker in like years, so. <laughs> I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't remember what it was rated to, but this is rated to go as low as 60 hertz. The charging time is up to seven hours, that's kind of long. 
Um, anyway, it's IP67 rated too. Now I know it has two tweeters in here and a main woofer, so a two to one you know, sound setup, but it doesn't say what size of drivers it has or what size of tweeters it's housing in there. So we don't know that. Um, anyways, I'm going to turn it on and hear some sounds. Okay. And she is ready to roll. Okay, so there's not really much to talk about this guy right here at the moment, other than just going into the sound samples and hear how it sounds, because what else do you want to know, right? Um, anyway, so it has extra bass on and extra bass off. So I think let's first listen to that and see what difference extra bass makes you know, when you have it on versus when you have it off. So take a listen. I'm um, actually, before that, I'm going to be using a high quality binaural microphone for recording the sound sample. So for the best experience, please use headphones. With that said, all right, let's go ahead. Yeah, I'm back to the bone. I ain't sure what you've been told. Yeah, I'm back to the bone. There you have it guys, extra bass on versus extra bass off. Dang, this thing actually sounds pretty good. I'm kind of impressed. Like the sound that is coming out of it. <laughs> dang, dang, try that. You guys. How much is it? I just want to confirm the price here real quick. Okay, so according to Amazon right now, it's for $120, which is not bad, but actually I was expecting it to be a little bit cheaper than that because it's Tribit. They usually bring us great sound for a lot cheaper. Um, let me just see how much the Bose Revolve Plus is going for too. Oh, never mind. <laughs> The Revolve Plus is right now for $250. So yeah, this is less than half of that. So I we'll see how the two compare sound wise because yes, that is a lot more expensive. So $250, $120. So let's see how those will compare sound wise coming right up next. Now, yeah, we'll talk about it on the other side. Let's hear the two sounds and then we'll talk about it on the other side of the video. Don't forget to wear your headphones again. Just keep them on, okay? That's the best way you can get the best sound out of my videos. It's not perfect, okay? It's not 100% perfect what you will hear when you have the speakers in your hand, but it's closer than using the speakers on your phone to listen to me playing these speakers, okay? All right, let's get into it. You say you love me, I say you crazy. We're nothing more than friends. You're not my lover, more like a brother. I know you since we were like 10. Yeah, don't mess it up, talking that shit. Only gonna push me away, that's it. When you say you love me, that makes me crazy. You'll leave it on me again. Don't go look at me with that look in your eyes. I'm realistic. Big boom, bad lady, 
up and get stiff. Oh, I got a freak on me. I went for five seconds, yeah, we talking history. Then I sniff, sniff, sniff. Don't be sex to me. That's the kid. I don't want a smaller me. Actually, possibly. Maybe. Okay, so if you're looking for the loudest of the two speakers, it's going to be the storm box right here. Okay, if loudness is all you care about, it's going to be this guy here. Um, also, the highs are slightly uh, better on this guy right here, probably because of the tweeters, well, as this is, I think, driving just the one main driver firing downwards to give you that that 360 sound but this is just bringing out slightly better highs which gives it a slightly um brighter sound if that's something that you're into also because it has the two tweeters it's putting out stereo sound whereas you're getting mono on this guy right here which is again pretty awesome best performance is about the same but i think i'm gonna give that to the revolve plus right here from all the songs that i have been listening to um i hope you can also hear you could also hear it through the songs i just played for you guys um but best sounds a little bit tighter and more realistic on this guy right here it's not like overpowering and that is with the extra or the x best on on the storm box pro right here so best performance it's a really really small margin but i would give that to the revolve plus now that's that does not mean that this is bad best on here i think it's still pretty good i was surprised when i first listened to it just by itself and before comparing it to this like it has some really really good bass and the sound is overall pretty good um, both the speakers kind of don't sound the same when they're at maximum volume they they don't sound the greatest but that's for both of them but if you keep the volume around 80 percent and lower like i just had you guys listen to yes they all sound pretty good but i think if bass is what you're into this would still be your go-to but if you consider the price difference between the two speakers i feel like you are mainly just paying for the brand name on this guy and maybe the added best performance on the uh the Bose revolve plus right here but overall i think this is a nice package right here i think they packaged this up pretty well i also would like to give a shout out to the revolve plus right here because just because of the way its drivers or driver is actually pointed downwards and then the sound is being reflected back out it gives you it gives you a completely nice 360 sound it doesn't matter where you're at sound it does not change at all it stays the same okay well, as because uh, the main driver in here is facing downwards, pretty cool. But the two tweeters, uh, one is right here and the other one is right here. So if you listen forward, if you turn the speaker like that, you can hear that the sound gets brighter around here and here and slightly not as bright on here. We're just friends. So don't go look at me with that in your eyes. How 
how bad is the latency? Let's try YouTube. I don't have a big excuse why I haven't done it, but we're here and let's get it done. I have so many questions from you guys. I will try to answer as many as I can. Okay, so the audio synchronization is actually not bad, uh, most especially on YouTube. It's fine. TikTok is still weird for some reason, actually. TikTok, all my other speakers and all my earbuds, the ones that work perfectly fine when I'm watching a movie on Netflix and YouTube, they work fine. But when I go to TikTok, for some reason, TikTok just doesn't work very well with Bluetooth. Stuff doesn't sync up and it's the same thing here. But YouTube is fine and Netflix is fine and probably everything else. So, uh, but anyways, I still don't like getting rid of the 3.5 millimeter jack. I don't see the purpose in that because there's definitely room in here. Come on. That thing has been put on small phones. So I don't know. Anyways, I think if that covers this video. If there's something you want me to compare it to, I'll probably compare it to the Charge 5. Just because of its price, it's a 360 speaker. The Charge 5 is a directional speaker, but I'll still, maybe I'll compare it to it maybe and see how it compares to the JBL Charge 5, because why not? Um, thank you very much for watching this one. If you have not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Um, Go to Instagram, follow me over there, check out my merch store for the cool designs and shirts over there. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah, I'm back to the bone. I ain't sure what you've been told. Yeah, I'm mad. You a clone. Sussy boy don't even have a sound of his own. I'm a dad. Hear the song. I'm a fire hazard making hits from my home. I'm a tag. Big bro. Baby, no money means baby, no stone. I like chick flicks. Yeah, I'm realistic. Big bone, bad lady with some lipstick. Ooh, I got a freak on me. I went for five seconds. Yeah, we talking history. Then I snip, snip, snip. No vasectomy. That's the key. I don't want to smile at me. Actually, uh, possibly. Maybe.